Let me ask you the all important question about size. So uh, does size matter in terms of neural networks uh, with how good the system performs? Uh, so GPT-3, 3.5 had uh, 175 billion. Problems. I heard GPT-4 had 100 trillion. 100 trillion. Can I speak to this? Do you know that meme? Yeah, the big purple circle. Do you know where it originated? I don't, do you? I'd be curious to hear. It's the presentation I gave. No way. Yeah. Uh, huh. a journalists just took a snapshot. Huh. Now I learned from this. It's right when GPT-3 was released. I gave a, it's on YouTube. I gave a description of what it is. And I spoke to the limitation of the parameters and like where it's going. And I talked about the human brain and how many parameters it has, yeah. synapses and so on. And um, perhaps like an idiot, perhaps not. I, I said like GPT-4, like the next, as it progresses. What I should have said is GPT-N or something I like can't this. believe that it, this came from you. That is... But That's people should go to it. It's totally taken out of context. They didn't reference anything. They took it. This is what GPT-4 is going to be. And I feel horrible about it. <laughs> you know, it doesn't. It, I, I don't think it matters in any serious way. I mean, it's not good because, uh, again, size is not everything. But also people just take uh, a lot of these kinds of discussions out of context. Uh, but it is interesting to comp I mean, that's what I was trying to do, to, com to compare in different ways uh, the difference between the human brain and the neural network, and this thing is getting so impressive. But on that topic, how much does size matter? By like number of parameters? Number of parameters. I think people got caught up in the parameter count race in the same way they, they got caught up in the gigahertz race of processors in like the you know 90s and 2000s or whatever. You, I think, probably have no idea how many gigahertz the processor in your phone is. But what you care about is what the thing can do for you. And there's, you know, different ways to accomplish that. You can bump up the clock speed. Sometimes that causes other problems. Sometimes it's not the best way to get gains. Um, but I think what matters is getting the best performance. And, you know, we, I think one thing that works well about OpenAI is we're pretty truth-seeking in just doing whatever is going to make the best performance, whether or not it's the most elegant solution. So I think like LLMs are a sort of hated result in parts of the field. Everybody wanted to come up with a more elegant way to get to generalized intelligence. And we have been willing to just keep doing what works and looks like it'll keep working. So I've spoken with Noam Chomsky, who's been kind of um, one of the many people that are critical of uh, large language models being able to achieve general intelligence, right? And so it's an interesting question that they've been able to achieve so much incredible stuff. Do you, do you think it's possible that large language models really is the way we, we build AGI? I think it's part of the way. I think we need other super important things.